Hello there, scouts and rogues. Welcome to part 50. 50. Of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Off screen, I dropped a penny down here and made a wish. Will that wish come true? Well, I can't say what the wish was, or else it won't come true. But I'll let you know at the end of the video if it came true or not. Alright, so this brings us to the well. And normally these Gibdos would attack me. But now that we've got this handy-dandy Gibdos mask, they mistake me as one of their own. So thank you, Pamela's father, for, um, for suffering through all that. Couldn't have done this without you, man. Alright, so we talked to this Gibdo, and the door behind him is locked. But, he wants something that's blue and bestows health. Do we happen to have that? We do happen to have that. It's a blue potion which I got earlier in this cycle from the Deku Scrub here in Ikana. Here you go, man. Bear no remorse. He's like Klungo. Alright, so we give him the blue potion and he dies? What? You want something blue that restores health so he can die? Whatever well, makes you happy, man. Alright, so we're down here in the well. And the way this place works is we have... It's sort of like one big maze. There's a fish, and I'm going to get some fresh water as well. This is like a big maze full of Gibdos and locked doors. And in order to get to the end of this maze, and onto the next major area, we have to go through these locked doors and get the Gibdos to unlock them. But they'll only unlock them uh, if we give them the particular item that they want. So that's our goal, is to fulfill the desires of all the Gibdos down here, get the doors unlocked, and get to the end of this maze. So for example, this guy, talk to him, and he says he wants something deliciously fresh. Well, I don't have any Subway, but I do have a fish, if this fish is fresh. Well, he seems pleased, so I guess he's happy with it, and I wouldn't trust that that fish was fresh, but he didn't have any complaints, so we'll take his word for it. This guy wants an H2O, so... Here you go, two hydrogen, one oxygen, man. Not really sure what these items have to do with these Gibdos. I don't know if they're dying or teleporting or what, but if they're dying, then it seems like these items aren't really serving much purpose. They're just dying right away. But this area is all about death, so... Why not? I cannot see what the flip. Uh, there's like a web here, there it is. Okay. Burn that, and we get a stupid cutscene, because the game wants to make sure we know in detail that the fire arrow did in fact burn that web. Here we have a bug. Come here, creepy crawlers. There we go, a nooky yucky bug. Hold on to that, we'll need it a little later. And across from here, um, I'll go ahead and show it off. What the heck? I don't need what's in here, but I'll show it. Burn this web. Yeah, cutscene, yeah, yeah. We've got pots in here. And there's several bombs. So you can use this to stock up on bombs if you need to, because we are going to need some later. But I've already got bombs, and I've got all the bombs we need as well, so... But if you happen to not have any, this is a place you can get them. Uh, now down that way, you notice there's a Gibdo and a lock door. That area is not mandatory at all. Quite the contrary, I find it to be pretty pointless. So I wouldn't even bother with it, as far as I know. One of those Gibdos leads to a fairy fountain, and the other one leads to a room where you can get rupees. Don't really see much point in it, I guess. Maybe since this is supposed to be like a maze of sorts, maybe they wanted to make it where some of the rooms don't really lead to anything, which makes it more challenging. That's the only thing I can really think of. But if you're one of those completionists who just has to do everything, just because it's doable, then you're more than welcome to. Knock yourself out, but I'm not going to bother. Just know that you can do that. I just got another fish. Um, hold on to that fish. We're going to need it a little later. So we're done with this area for now, so we can go back to the beginning here. Back to where we started from. And let's go to this area on the right here. And this Gibdo wants something delicious. It sprouts, water, he wants five of them. Well, that would be none other than magic beans. And last video, I went to Clock Town with the Deku Scrub, bought five of these. Here you go, man. Guess maybe he's a vegan? 
Trying to stay healthy. Well, that's one way to that's one way to behave if you're um if you're deadly like he is. Might as well make the best of it, eh? Take care of your body if it's that horrible looking. Alright, I don't really see much point in that room, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Alright. Oh yeah, there's also wall masters in here, so I'm gonna get out of here. Watch out for them. Don't have the item yet that this one wants, but we do have the item that this one wants. This guy wants something deliciously fresh. He said something, so I guess that means anything, right? Anything deliciously fresh? Alright, see ya. Alright. You know what I noticed? I noticed that the bunny hood um, could easily be worn with the mask that we wear. Um, I mean, not literally, but, um... The bunny hood just rests on our head, and a lot of the masks we have don't take up our, the top of our head. So really, in reality, we could wear the bunny hood on top of our head while wearing a mask, which I think would be kind of fun. Imagine wearing the bunny hood <laughs> along with the Gibdo mask. That'd be fun. But unfortunately, the game won't allow that. Then I don't think the Gibdos would take us seriously. I don't think the disguise would fool them anymore. Hey, you're a Gibdo like me. Wait. You've got bunny ears. We wouldn't do something that silly. You're an imposter, aren't you? Um. It's just like Scooby Doo. Uh, I defeated a bunch of those Deku Babas and got some Deku Nuts. And that gives us 10. Um, we're gonna need 10. Uh, with the Gibdo in the part over here. So you can stock up on Deku Nuts in there. This guy wants some blinding flashes. Ten of them. Here you go, some Deku Nuts. Why on earth you want those? I... I'll just let you live your life. Ironically, since you're dead. Alright, this brings us to this part. Watch out for these guys. Wait a I didn't, didn't I just shield him? I guess not. Oh well. I'm gonna question the game. Yeah. The game, everything's absolute. Okay, I don't think we have what this guy wants. No. Do we? I, no, yeah, we do. He wants uh, 10 refreshing blast, which is bombs. Bombs are refreshing? Yeah, that's right. A guy wants 10 bombs, just give them to him. That's a good lesson for all the kids. Guy goes up to you, says, "Hey, can I have ten bombs? Just, just fulfill his wishes. Don't even question it. You know, could be a deranged psychopath, but it's better just to not ask questions." Here we got a big Poe, and there is a Gibdo down here who wants a big Poe. These Gibdos are not the most demanding. I'll give them that. They want simple things. It's a shame that they're dead, because we need more live people like that. Most people want the moon. Of course, pretty soon. In a few hours or so, some people are gonna get that. Yeah. Normally I just wait for the pose to come towards me and I get my shield ready. Oh. Oh yeah, these stupid spike things. Have we even seen these in this game yet? They might have been around, I don't know. Alright, one more hitch to do it. Or maybe not, if I'm, since I'm gonna be stupid here. Oh, okay. And we have to actually scoop the pose up in this game. In Ocarina of Time, you'd walk up to these and they would say, like, you defeated a Poe, you want to catch it? But this game uh, doesn't hold your hand as much. It's like, dude, okay, we stuck with you through Ocarina of Time, but you can actually... You can get the Poe yourself, man. Don't make us do all the... Oh, crap! I took my mask off? When did I take my mask off? I guess maybe I hit that button by accident or something. Oh well. That's why we're able to watch the videos back. Okay, he wants water, warm. He wants hot spring water, which I don't have. I have to go back and get that. Um, don't worry about over there. Nothing too mandatory. All right, one of the rooms I opened earlier has hot spring water, so let's run and get that right quick. And I'm using the bunny hood just to speed things up a little bit here. Oh, crap. Where am I going? Here, right? Yeah. Uh, watch out for you. 
And then go back this way, retrace our steps. Uh, great. As if the Gibdos weren't enough. Lots of spiky traps. Someone does not want us to succeed. It's like Indiana Jones. Alright, I think over here on the right. There we go. This is where we get our hot spring water. But again, as we've seen earlier in the game, hot spring water is timed. It'll go back to regular boring water if you don't use it in time. Here we got a Dexy hand. In my experience, the best way to defeat these is to bomb them. Like that. Um, there might be a better way to do it, but that's the way I found to be the easiest and most effective. So, Alright, so we gotta get this hot spring water to that Gibdo before it turns to regular water. In my experience, this hasn't been, this hasn't rendered too much of a challenge, but better safe than sorry. All right, let's hurry up and get it there. Here with these spikes, since I'm in a hurry, I usually just kind of take damage. I don't worry about waiting for them too much because it's just it it's just not worth the, the risk, really. Dude, you don't need to show off your gymnastics before you go into the place, Link. I I trust you. Um. Oh yeah, I need to have my Gibdo mask ready. Because I have to have the Gibdo mask. Okay, and I think at the end here is the Gibdo. There we go. This is the one that wants the hot spring water. There you go, here's your scalding hot water, whatever you want that for. Hot chocolate, maybe? Does it even have chocolate in Hyrule? Or not Hyrule, but in Zelda. There might be some in some other Zelda game. Sorry, Bart, but we do have a cow man. <laughs> I'm so funny, aren't I? All right, well, we need to play a Pona song. We need to get some good old calcium from this milk. From this milk, yeah. Mind you of the pasture, blah, 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 okay. All right, so we got some milk, and we're not gonna drink it. We're gonna give it to one of the guys who wants it. So. Another thing to keep in mind about this place is if you notice, I'm getting a bunch of items that can easily be obtained from another source. Um, for example, I got the milk here. Well, you can get milk from the cows at Romani Ranch. You can purchase uh, the milk at the milk bar. So, if you want to get these items before you go to the well, you're welcome to do that. Um, if you want to get Deku Nuts and bombs and bugs and things of that sort, if you want to get those items before coming here at the places you can get them, you're welcome to do that, but, um, you know, you can get them in secret grottos, you can get them at stores, um, but I really don't bother with that because I find that just to be more boring, and I also find it to just diminish the challenge aspect of this, and this guy wants a big Poe, so we're going to give him the big Poe that we defeated. And he goes away. Excuse me. So yeah, like, uh, Deku Nuts can be found at the trading post. You can purchase them. You can get bugs in secret grottos. You can get milk at Romani Ranch from the cows. Um, so I mean, if you want to get the items ahead of time, you can do that. But to me, that's just really boring just to go buy them. I mean, I kind of like the maze and puzzle aspect of this, so... Dude, come on, man. Just let me finish. Can I finish? Can, can I finish? Okay. And we've got our last Gibdo, and he wants something rich in calcium. I don't have any calcium pills, but uh, I do have some milk that I just got. It's not chocolate, but... Like I said, is there chocolate in, in this game? You could have chocolate milk, and you could have... You can make the hot spring water into chocolate cocoa. Chocolate cocoa. Yeah. Hot chocolate, dude. That's not uh, not that hard to say. It's the night of the final day. Alright, we got one last little puzzle here. What I normally like to do with this is light one with the fire arrow. Take the stick and then just light these other torches. But if you didn't have any Deku sticks, you would just have to use the fire arrow on all of them. That's a lot of fun. Alright, so that brings us to the end already. And... Take a good look at our shield, folks. Our hero's shield. It's helped us a lot. 
It shielded us through a lot of dark times. It's been with us through thick and thin. But we're gonna have to say goodbye to it. Why? Why would we ever say goodbye to our hero shield? The one that's been with us through all this? Because we get a replacement shield, the mirror shield, with a creepy, stupid looking face on it. And just like Ocarina of Time and the other games, it will it will defend yourself with and you can also send off light. Yeah, that's right. It replaces our hero shield. It flat out replaces it. Our hero shield is gone. <laughs> yeah. I guess they had a really good reason for adding that. They really wanted us to just keep this thing. So yeah, if you have a real personal attachment to your hero shield, I'm really sorry, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> it replaces it. Alright, the mirror shield gets rid of that, and then we can light that sun with the mirror shield. Happy, happy face. And that makes a ladder. And that is the end of this area. And that brings us to... Well, all's well, it ends well, right? <laughs> Ancient castle of Icona. Hmm. Let's go up the ladder. Take our time. One step. Face the ladder when going up. Have someone there to spot you. Well, here I am. This don't look like the Coachella Valley to me. I knew I should have taken that left point of Albuquerque. And here we are. The ancient castle of Iconoma. How intense is this place going to be? What challenges await? Is it going to end up being in the sky? Well, we're not going to find out yet, because we're not going to do this this cycle. <laughs> Sorry about that. One last thing I'm going to show off with this area, and then that's going to end this video. We're going to warp to Icona Canyon. Here we are back in Icona Canyon, and I'm just going to show off a little something back at the ancient castle right quick. And that's going to be it. Well, the the main entrance to the place we were just at, the ancient castle, is actually right here. So that's the convenient way of getting there. But, you'll notice that there's a sun blocking here. So, now that we have the mirror shield, we can hit this, shed some light on the situation, and light that, and light that, there, thank you. Delayed reactions are so fun. And that gets rid of that barrier, and then here we are. Right here at the beginning of the ancient castle again. So that's the convenient way of getting there now that you have the mirror shield. So yeah, you don't have to go through the well every single time you want to go there. Just want to show that off right quick. That's going to be our next major location to go to. But we're not going to do that right now. I'm going to save at the owl statue here. And that about does it for now, so thank you so much for watching. See you later, alligators.